Now Gordon was on his own. I'm sure I can find a better place to sleep than the smelly old diesel works. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't think of anywhere else to sleep. Oh. Then an idea flew into Gordon's funnel. Uh, what silly engines! They've all gone off to sleep in other sheds, but the turntable is sure to be working by now. But the turntable wasn't working. It was still stuck in the same place. And there was still only one berth that an engine could get into. What silly engines! I know where I am going to sleep tonight. It was very late indeed by the time Percy got back from pulling the mail train. He was tired and ready to go to sleep. But the berth was not empty. Gordon? No, but what is it? I'm sleeping. Move in, Gordon, and make room. I need a place to sleep too, you know. Nonsense, Percy. This berth is too small for two engines. Oh, if you need somewhere to sleep, there's a spare shed at Whiff's Waste Dump. Percy was not very happy, but he was too tired to argue with Gordon. So he headed off to sleep at Whiff's Waste Dump instead. Gordon liked the idea of having Tidmouth sheds all to himself. I really should ask the fat controller to give me a shed of my own. It's much more peaceful without all those other engines chattering and making noise. <laughs> but then the men started working on the turntable again. They were being very noisy. Gordon found it very hard to get any sleep at all. Before he knew it, it was morning and his fireman was warming up his firebox so he could pull the express. Hooray! Well then the men got the turntable working again. But no sooner had it turned away from Gordon, it stopped. The cold weather really didn't agree with it. Gordon was very surprised. He was ready to go. It was time to pull the express. But the turntable wouldn't turn back. It was well and truly stuck again. And that meant Gordon was stuck too. All aboard!